Hey guys, Jeski. I stumbled across something and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, it's an Android emulator for Windows called Duo OS. Uh, I had messed around with Blue Stacks a little while ago when I recorded the Star Command Let's Play. Had some stability issues with that. I don't know how far it's come since then. Frankly, I haven't gone back to it. Uh, but when I came across this, I was really surprised at how well it worked. As you can see right here, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on my Windows desktop, but I'm running Android, and it's pretty quick. You have several options uh, as far as what folders you can share with it. You can even even configure how much RAM you give it from your system system resources. I have not messed with root mode. I will play with it in a little while. I don't know what it could break, how stable it is, but so far it's been pretty good. You get a 30-day trial. Uh, beyond that, it's a one-time fee of 10 bucks. And <laughs> it took me three days to decide, and I went ahead and did it because it's been that nice using it. So what is it what is it running uh, it's obviously android it's a tablet version of jelly bean uh, they are apparently working on a lollipop version and it identifies it american megatrends incorporated is the company that's making this um, ami duos so anyway i mean it is full blown down to the easter eggs and everything it is jelly bean works well uh, graphically speaking it uses OpenGL, and the games are rendered reasonably well. I've had a few that kind of chug a little bit. But for games that you kind of maybe want to touch base on while you're sitting at your desktop and not destroy your phone's battery life, well, I don't know, you know, you've got standard fare like Clash of Clans, which I'm sure a boat ton of people play. Loads up, got Supercell. It does support gestures. The shortcut for that is Control-Alt-T, and I'll show you how well that works. But even loading, uh, that was the first time launching on a, on a fresh boot. Uh, don't make fun of my base, I just started literally a day ago. See how quick it works. The sound does work, I have it muted right now. Uh, it's pretty simple to play with. Uh, for example, music sound, see, works great. Click on everything, fiddle around. But anyway, I find that a little annoying at times. So. See how, see how smooth it works? Click right back over. Let's say launch. Oop, go back over to games. Let's fire up mm, Boom Beach. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, fires up. And I've been playing for a little while, not, not too long. But so the gestures, like I said, Control-Alt-T. You'll see at the bottom, it'll tell you gesture support enabled. Uh, I for zooming in and O for zooming out. It is as you would expect. Click and drag around. Woo! Um, yeah, I might as well collect all my stuff while I'm here talking to you guys. It <laughs> definitely is kind of nice to check in on this stuff just while, like I said, while you're sitting here, not destroying your phone's battery. Very quickly, it does toggle through. You can just click over and toggle between just like you can on a phone. Things keep on running. One thing to mention is by default, it does not come with Google Play support. That is an APK you have to install manually. But don't let that scare you off. It is super simple to actually do. From the actual DuoS website, it gives you a link to the download. You save it to your Windows folder, your download folder, wherever you save your folders, your downloads. And from there, is you run Duos once. While it's running, you locate that APK that you downloaded, right-click on it, and there's a context menu item. It says Send to Duos. You do that, the emul it will install, the emulator will reboot, and you're off and running. Uh, you'll connect it with your Google account, and you'll have all of your fun stuff. You'll have access to the Play Store. Uh, it will look a little different, like I said, because it is Jelly Bean, but <laughs> things work great. I haven't had a single issue yet. Uh, please don't play Candy Crush, and uh, please don't invite me to it. I will pretty much punch you in the face. Anyway, uh, all the mobile apps work. Gmail, everything. 
which is kind of handy. My phone is sitting here next to me on the charger. And, oh man, it's, it's so nice. The battery lasts a lot longer because I'm not fiddling with it all day. Uh, some things that you don't get access to, which I'm accustomed to at this point, because I have an XS5 running Lollipop, so it feels kind of like a step back at times, just for OS functionality. But this is another nice thing. It is It can use Wi-Fi if you're on a laptop. I did install it on my Surface Pro 3, and it works great there, uh, but it, using Ethernet. So installing games, uh, 220 meg install, super quick. Um, battery is obviously infinite. Um, total space, it's got 16 gig. I don't know if you can up that. I haven't messed with that much. But RAM is nice. Like I said, I configured that earlier Ooh, over here. Well, that's just not like going from one monitor to the other. There we go. Nope, still messed up. Anyway, I gave it 2 gig. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So I'm going to go back to, uh, figuring out Clash of Clans here, because it looks like it's a lot of fun. But if you want, I can also show you another game. Um, yeah, oh, it does have, you know, play support, Google Play game support, so your achievements, all that stuff is there once you've installed that Google Play, that APK. So it is literally a f <laughs> very, very functional emulator for Windows. It does have one functionality. Um, you see how I just went sideways there? It automatically did it for me. So that's kind of nice. So something like Skyforce. Uh, I don't have music turned off on this one. But it even restored all of my all the stuff I've done. So Plane works well. Like I said, there are some games that are super intensive that it is a little slow, but we'll see if this is one of them, and so far it's not. You can see it works quite well. This is a fun game, by the way, if you uh, like the shooters. I'm just left-clicking and, and holding, and it's, follow it's simulating a left touch. Uh, there are things you can do. Actually, let's flip back to... Um, let's go back here. And you can see it auto-rotated back. Uh, let's click back over to, um, let's just say, Clash of Clans. The game was still running. See how fast it's loading. But if you're familiar with the game, it, if you're inactive for so long, it, it reloads. But um, if you want to, it, like I said, gesture support's there. So if you want to move something, just click and hold. And there you go. It's good. Uh, you do have a mouse cursor. It's pretty responsive. All right, friends, uh, I'll put the link and all that good stuff in the description. Uh, I am not affiliated with American Megatrends. I do think they used to be a computer company way back in the day, unless I'm thinking of something else. Anyway, uh, if you guys do it or have any comments on it or you know of something even better, please feel free to comment and let me know. Anyway, you guys take care.